how to collect a sample using the IB Dock. Using the Calyx device to extract and test your stool sample. The IB Dock uses the same sampling device as laboratories. The addition of a lever at the bottom enables you to use the Calyx without laboratory equipment, but the principle is the same, so some of the examples in this video use the lab Calyx. Once you have collected your stool sample, you need to transfer a portion into the calyx using the picker. When the stool sample is available, the pin of the calyx sampling device is removed and dipped into the stool sample a few times so that the grooves on the end are covered in stool before replacing back into the calyx tube. It is important that any food grains or fibres present in the sample are not transferred into the calyx. By performing a small twist when removing the pin from the stool, any excess should be removed. The grooves of the sampling pin need to be covered in the stool sample. Any excess is then retained by the funnel in the neck of the calyx so that a defined amount is used in the analysis. Sample types can vary, including liquid, mucoid, blood-stained and hard. Let's take a look at how to deal with various sample types and the best way for test accuracy. Liquid. Ideally, if use a more formed sample where possible. Mucoid. If there is mucus in your sample, then avoid this when loading the calyx as it can influence the results. Bloodstained. If there is blood present in your sample, then avoid it if possible, but it won't unduly influence the result. hard. Some samples are very hard and you may struggle to fill the grooves on the calyx with stool sample. In this scenario, use gloves and scrape the calyx across the surface of the sample in a serrating action until the grooves are completely filled. When you have completed the test, it is useful to put your sample consistency information into the notes section of the app for the clinical scene to see. So liquid, mucus, blood stained or hard. For further information, please visit our dedicated website, www.calprotectin.co.uk.